So Nine Circles levels have been around for over seven years, ever since Zebras released his iconic video of his newest hard demon, Nine Circles, on January 17th, 2015. And somehow, we still have over five upcoming Extreme Demon Nine Circles levels aimed to be top 10 alone, and that's just a very specific type of Extreme Demon, which itself is a specific type of demon. There's a Nine Circles level in the top three hardest demons currently, and there's a Nine Circles level pretty much anywhere at this point. So this being a trend going on for the past seven years, how have Nine Circles levels evolved? from 2015 to now. Starting back in 1.9, many popular or big creators made their own Nine Circles levels, following the trend, maybe for a few creator points, maybe because they had some other ideas, doesn't really matter. Usually a big creator makes one Nine Circles level, probably when they're bored on a bus and need to kill some time, or in Andromeda's case, when you just snorted enough happy flower to kill an elephant. Except Suomi who made like 8, but that's not the point. So we have a bunch of Nine Circles levels from 1.9 that all look pretty much the same, except they have different colors and I guess different songs. I'd say most of these are kind of trash, but overall it's a pretty neat idea to see the same effect in different takes from Easy Demons and Nine Stars to Extremes and even Top Ones. Anyways, here's how you make one of these. Take all the designs and assets from Zobros Nine Circles. Copy them into a layout using a ruckus song that sounds like someone is recording a chainsaw. Switch the colors, add your name at the end, and bam, free creator points. But this got old quickly, so people tried to uh, improve upon it, I guess. Around the release of 2.0, many new styles of Nine Circles effects were first being created, then copied to varying degrees. One I can mention is the use of other blocks in the effect, seen in infinite circles, space circles, and more. Another subcategory is the ultra effect, which might as well be classified as a bioweapon considering how egregious it looks. 2.0 is all about making horrible versions of different levels, and the Nine Circles levels were no exception. Every time someone came up with something even remotely different for a Nine Circles level, it was ripped off relentlessly, defeating the purpose of that new idea entirely. Although, not all attempts at variation failed. A few levels such as Quasar have more interesting effects that work decently, and if not, they work very well. But this was not normally the case, at least in my opinion. There was also the Impossible Nine Circles trend started by Silent Circles mostly, and then the remake this level into a Nine Circles trend, basically just for free views. Here's how to make a 2.0 Circles level. Make a layout with a random EDM or dubstep song older than half my audience. Make the worst gameplay imaginable over using 2.0 features. Add some monsters and 2.0 deco to your pasted deco from Nine Circles, and possibly make the Nine Circles effect somehow even worse. But this got old as well, and people went in different directions heading forward into 2.1. So there are multiple branches of the Nine Circles trend that use different formulas from here on out. I will just mention them in the order I see fit, from most simple to most complex and modern. The first is Sonic Wave Remakes. Sonic Wave was originally a top one created by Cyclic and then later verified by Sonic. So yeah, yeah, you know the story. But eventually, remakes such as Sonic Wave Rebirth, Sonic Wave Infinity, AP Team Sonic Wave Infinity, Generic Wave, Auditory Breaker, and even Tosh Deluxe's unrated remake were popping up every few months. With the exception of the current SWI, most of these are pretty old. Next up is the Bausha Vortex trend. The Bausha Vortex trend is a pretty small one, just a few levels that look like Bausha Vortex and keep the same style. It's pretty much similar to the 2.0 levels, however it actually works better. Next up is the N-Level Circles trend. N-Level started creating his own Nine Circles levels that seem to take a few elements from the Vortex levels but have a lot of their own ideas. These levels include Arctic Lights, Aquatic Auroras, and more, along with similar levels not by N-Level, like Molten Core, and recently, the best of these, Aerial Gleam. Next up is the modern Nine Circles trend. This is just Nine Circles with the modern style mixed in, which is honestly the best out of all of these. A good example of this would be Hue Effect, which takes a lot of modern lighting, and other themes and trends that are used in that sort of style and makes it nine circles. Another example of this would be ZX circles. And finally, what I would call the sophisticated circles levels, such as Down Base Incarnate, Cosmic Cyclone, and Sonic Wave Infinity to some extent. These take the nine circles level and make it extremely detailed with much care put into each part. This is where we are now in terms of the Nine Circles trend, as other Nine Circles levels, like the N-Level style, don't get nearly as much attention, unless they get redecorated by college, but that's not the point. It's crazy to see how one level sparked all of these trends, that all are ultimately the same trend. How we went from a very simple 1.9 effect, to absolutely atrocious 2.0 effects, 
to a few more interesting sub-trends of levels in earlier 2.0, and now we get masterpieces such as Cosmic Cyclone and Donbass Incarnate. And in the future we'll get levels like Azure Flare, which is aimed to be the hardest Nine Circles level ever created. And while the Nine Circles trend isn't as prominent as it used to be, which is probably for the better, there are still always going to be Nine Circles levels constantly being created. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe, all of that stuff. This video is a little shorter, but I don't know, whatever, I'm, I, 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 I don't know what to do about that. Speaking of Nine Circles levels, I did recently verify Detroit Circles, which is a joke level I recently posted. It's a mega collab. It's actually really random how good some of the parts look, so if you're interested, you can go check that out. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.